In this video, we're going to expand and simplify x plus 1 to the third power, or you could say x plus 1 cubed. When you think about x plus 1 to the third power, that's x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. And if you write it that way, it's a lot easier to expand and simplify. So our strategy here is we're going to expand and simplify these two terms here. And once we get that, we'll multiply that by this. We'll expand and simplify with this term as well. So quite a few steps here. So we're going to multiply x by everything here and then 1 by everything here. So let's do the x. x times x, that's x squared. x times 1, that's going to be 1x. We're just going to call that x. Now we do the 1 times everything. 1 times x, that's just x. And then 1 times 1, that's 1. So we could take this now here and we could multiply it by x plus 1 and then we would have expanded and simplified our original term x plus 1 cubed. It's easier for me to think about this term right here in the front so I'm going to move it over there. That doesn't really change anything except now I think about x times each of these terms here and then 1 times each of these terms here. So let's do the x. x times x squared that gives us x cubed x times x, that's x squared. We have x times the other x, that's x squared. And then we have x times the 1, that's x. Now we can do the 1. Well, 1 times each of these terms, that just gives us the same thing here. So let's just do 1 times x squared, plus 1 times x, plus 1 times x, and then finally, we have the 1 times the 1. So that's just 1. So now we can combine similar terms. There's only 1x cubed. So we'll put x cubed plus we have x squared, x squared, x squared. So 3x squared plus we have x, x, and x. So that's going to be 3x plus we have 1. So at this point, we're done. We've expanded and simplified x plus 1 to the third power, also called x plus 1 cubed. And we did it using the distributive property to make sure that we multiplied all the terms correctly. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.